Rifleman Michael Swain was just 20 years old and serving in Sangin in Helmand province when a bomb blew off both his legs above the knees. Despite a number of operations, he quickly realised that conventional prosthetics weren't going to let him walk again. Michael explained how frustrating his recovery was. For that three years, I had uh, HO three times, which is um, bone growth. I had revision three times. So that was like reconstructing my leg. I was having to sort of reconstruct my leg and move muscle around so the sockets would fit my legs easier. So I was sort of fitting my legs to the sockets, not the sockets to my legs. So that was a very frustrating time. And during that time, to the operations, I'd sit at home for up to six months waiting for them. On the left one, I'm above knee, um, just above knee. And on the right one, I'm quite short. So at Heli Court, it was always the right, the right leg, which was frustrating. So I was always having um, problems falling off, slipping off, and I was having surgery. The socket slipping off. Yeah, yeah, and I was having surgery and having to go back into prosthetics to get it refitted, and it was just sort of a, a, a circle, the same thing. So we come to the conclusion that it wasn't, it wasn't going to work. Sockets was not, was not the future for me. A chance meeting at a prosthetics appointment introduced Michael to a novel approach to prosthetic care called osseo integration. Unable to get the treatment on the NHS, the Ministry of Defence funded Michael's life-changing surgery with specialist consultant Dr Munjad Almaderis in Australia. Uh, pull the pin at the back and then just take off like that. So there's one. Um, and it's the same on both legs. First operation, they had to drill a hole in my femur. Um, hammer the, um, literally hammer, hammer the titanium implant up through my femur. And what they'd done was they sort of moved muscle around where I needed to be and then they sort of sealed me over at the end. And what that done was that gave me eight weeks recovery period so my, my bone and, and the titanium rod can fuse together and become a solid. Um, so that's what that to do before I start learning to walk. So we done that and then for eight weeks I sort of um, relaxed, took it easy, went back eight weeks later and it was only a half an operation. They sort of um, made a hole in the end of my legs and they put the adapters into the implant and just screwed them on like that. And then I woke up and, 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 and that was it really. It was, it was quite a simple procedure. Michael saw this as an opportunity for a more normal life for him and his young family. But everything's normal. I mean, the kids, Daddy, when I come back, Daddy's got new legs. That lasted 10 minutes, now I'm up walking. Um, so it's just a great thing. We just, we just treat it as normal. I, mean, I, I don't um, take it for granted every day. I'm so thankful what happened, so, so, my, so my missus. But it's so nice to come home and be normal and doing more than I ever did and, and being, more, being more confident and able to help my family more. Michael has been walking for almost a year and I asked him what activities he is capable of now. I've gone to golf in the, in the summer. I'm really enjoying that, a bit addicted. And uh, that's great, because it gets me out for four hours. And I, I do, like I say, walking like I do with the dog. And it's giving me a bit of competitive streak back in me, playing other people. And I get to play able-bodied people. Where I get a chance to beat able-bodied people. So I like that, sort of defying the odds a bit. So it's the competition, the side of it, to you, uh, you've really sort of focused on getting back into it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've not really been competitive since my injury, because um, I hadn't done too many sports and I wasn't a big fan of the wheelchair sports. Um, to, find, to find something I'm enjoying and, and I love doing, um, it's great because it's making me want to beat other people and give me that sort of bit of, bit of motivation back into the sports, so it's, it's great. Michael is championing osseo integration for others with similar needs to him and is looking forward to improving his golf handicap, something unimaginable just 18 months ago. Tony Harris, Forces News, Bedfordshire.